So in this video, we are going to make this atmospheric scene in 10 minutes and we are going to be using Blender for this. I made a similar scene using Unreal Engine. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description. Before you start this video, you can download all the assets for free. One more thing, I would like to thank all of the people who supported on Patreon. It really helps a lot. So yeah, let's start. We're going to start by deleting the default cube and deleting the lamp. Shift A, we are going to add a plane and this is going to be our ground plane. So S to scale and scale it 10 units on each axis. Tap to go in the edit mode and we are going to subdivide this a bunch of times. Now under the modifiers panel, a basic displace modifier. Add a new texture and go in the textures panel. Now in this panel, you can select the clouds texture. And this works really well for making landscapes. So now you get something that looks like a landscape. You can go in the modifier and you can fine tune the strength of the modifier. So you can play with all these settings. Okay, so this looks good. This looks like a landscape. Now we are going to go under the object and we are going to smooth this out. So object shade smooth. Okay, so we have some elevation in the landscape. We have some uh, variation in the elevation and this looks really quite good. So now we are going to position our camera. We are going to change the position of the camera later, but we are going to define some settings now. So you can press Ctrl Alt number pad zero and this shortcut will snap the camera to the viewport position. After that, you can go in the camera settings and you can change the focal length to 22 millimeters. And this is going to give you a wide angle uh, lens and this will give you the landscape effect. So that is quite important. And if you go under the view panel, you can turn on lock camera to view and you can position your camera. So just position it roughly. We are going to change the position of this camera later. Okay, so the camera is done, the landscape is done. Next, we are going to add our assets. So I'll leave a link down in the description, download all the assets. The asset is a blender file, so you need to go under file and append them. And append the house and the lamp asset. After importing, you will get these two meshes. And as you can see, the scale is not right. So I'm going to select the landscape and scale it 10 units. So now we get something that looks like a landscape. And this looks pretty good. So now that we have added our elements in, we can finally position the camera. So we can press Ctrl Alt number pad zero and the camera will snap to the viewport position. After that, you can select these assets and you can rotate them, scale them, and you can position them wherever you like. So this is totally up to you. So just scale them and uh, rotate them around. And if you don't like the camera, you can always fine tune the camera. And this is a back and forth process. So you need to like play with all the perspectives. So as you can see, we have a lamp and we have the house in the background. So we have that perspective going on. And now we are going to select the landscape and it's time to add the grass. So for the grass, I'm going to add a particle system. Now in the particle system tab, I'm going to change it from emitter to hair. And I'm going to change the number of the particles to something like 2000 for now. And in the render, we need to define our object. So change it to object. And you can download this grass model. Link is in the description. So file append. And you can append the grass file. So there you go. We have our grass mesh. I'm going to position the grass mesh below the landscape. Now we are going to select the landscape, go in the edit mode and we are going to select the faces on which we want our grass particles to emit from. So we are going to just select those faces. You can tap B to box select and select the faces which are in the camera view. And this is going to save you a lot of render time. We only need the grass in the bounds of our camera. So 
so after you have your faces selected you can go under the vertex groups and you can hit that plus button and you can rename that vertex group to something like grass and make sure that you assign these faces to the vertex group back in our particle system first we'll define the object so under the instance object we are going to select the grass object and we start to see some grass particles in the scene now under the render you can change the scale and the scale randomness so you need to just play with these values i'm going to turn on the advanced settings and that will give you the rotation panel you can change the face and you can give it a randomized rotation so you need to play with all these values and find out what suits your scene so after you have changed the rotation and the scale of your particles we are going to increase the number of particles so you can change the children type to interpolated and this will give you two options the display amount and the render amount now the display amount is the amount that you see in your viewport and the render amount is what you will see when you render it so in the final render so i'm going to change the display amount to something low and i'm going to leave the render amount to 10 so that we can work faster in the viewport after that we are going to select the landscape and give it a basic a uh, diffuse brown material so after we have made the terrain material we need to assign the vertex group as you can see the particles are appearing all over the landscape and we need to optimize this a bit so we can go under the particles and under the vertex group in the density we can select our vertex group and by doing that the particles will only emit from the faces that are in the vertex group so after that's done we are going to add a very important element to our scene and this will give our scene that magic look so this is going to be the atmospheric fog so the way you do that is shift a and we are going to add a cube and this cube is going to be the domain of our uh, fog so we are going to scale the cube until everything fits inside this cube and to keep things organized you can rename this cube to volume add a new material and rename it to volume you can disconnect the principal shader from the surface and under the volume you can add something called as a principled volume shader and if we take a look in the camera view our scene is covered with a gray fog and we don't want this but first we are going to fix a problem so our volumetric uh, object is too far away from the camera and the camera cannot see it so it's clipping out of the camera view so just change the end clipping to something like a thousand and that will increase the view distance of the camera back in our volumetric uh, material change the density to 0 this is quite important and we are going to use something called as emission strength so just increase the emission strength and as you can see your scene completely changes this will give your scene a very atmospheric look you can also change the color of this and this is looking pretty good now finally i'm going to add some emission so i'm going to select the lamp and under the emission shader we are going to increase its strength so i'm going to increase the strength to 50 similarly select the house mesh and under the strength we are going to increase the strength to 50 after that we are going to go in the render settings and we are going to turn on ambient occlusion and bloom if you turn on bloom you can see you get a very overexposed uh, gloomy look So the bloom is sort of faking the scattering of light. So it is basically faking volumetric scattering. Now for some additional detail you can also increase the resolution of your uh, shadows and you can also turn on refraction. So at the end I'm going to show you a very easy way to make trees. So for the trees I just added cylinders. So these are basic cylinders scaled out. And I'm just positioning these cylinders randomly. and maybe you should spend more time in assembling these trees for now i'm just going to place them randomly these cylinders have a basic diffuse brown material at last we are going to select all of these cylinders go in the edit mode we are going to select their top faces 
tone on individual select and you can scale them down and that is going to give it a natural look and if you want you can replace these cylinders with a uh, tree meshes but for now i think this looks good so i hope you like the video leave a like down below you can download this project from my patreon subscribe to the channel and i'm going to see you in the next video